supported podcasts uh, by subscribing on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Google Play Music when uh, they release that to the general public. We're already there. They just haven't set up the podcast feeds yet. But you can also uh, link to it from our website or from our Spreaker page. Uh, and that Spreaker page is www.spreaker.com front slash close dash free dash living dash update. And you can find all our uh, current and past episodes of the Close Free Living update there as well as on our website closefreelife.com so uh tondu i wanted to play that song i'm bear uh by way of leading into a question i have for you about bear body freedom tell us okay. uh, what that is all about and what is bear body freedom reality tv well you know i i've uh I've said that bare body freedom, uh, and I, I say as I define it, because I think there's some other ideals about body freedom or or something related to uh, uh, a nudism. But so what I like to say, Earl, is that bare body freedom, uh, as I define it, is the responsible at will practice of simple nonchalant nudity. And I'm referring to it, uh, whether it's being practiced privately uh, or in public view. And uh, the idea that uh, a person can be without clothing, um, you know, with a purpose, uh, responsibly, is uh, is bare body freedom. Uh, you know, be be in that state, be without clothing, without any legal ramifications. That that, in my mind, would be uh, bare body freedom. And so, bare body freedom reality TV will. Uh, I'm still developing that, or else I won't talk too much about what is actually uh, structured. But I think if I say that it is largely uh, situational reality. Uh, I think that's a really good description. And, and what that means is there's just going to be, uh, you know, lots of stuff, lots of footage, uh, unscripted stuff, but things that are uh, real in nature. None of it's fabricated. None of it's, you know, staged. It'll be the capture of, uh, of situational reality, uh, you know, with, with bare body uh, freedom. So it'd be really intriguing stuff. I mean, I, I'm looking, I'm getting the footage, and I'm looking back at it, so I can tell you that it's going to be very good footage. It'd be very entertaining. So that was my I'm, next question: was what project you were working on at the moment? And sounds like Bare Body Freedom Reality TV is the main product uh, project that you're working on right mm -hmm. now. Do you have any music uh, that musical products uh, projects that you're working on as well? Yeah, Earl, and uh, the Bare Body Freedom Reality TV will be the venue. It'll be a place where you can go and stream this this video content. It'll be several episodes of this of this uh, footage. But anyway, uh, and so uh, probably the first thing that that will air on it, but several things will air at the same time. But one of the first things I want to release it with will be this this project I'm working on now. I've been referring to it as Naked, and I'm calling it a you know is this song involved. There's going to be a documentary around it, and and uh, you know we'll produce another music video for it to promote it. But uh, and so the actual the actual title, the official title of this is "I Was Naked." Uh, and so again, there's a song, a music video, and a documentary. Now the documentary is is what's been keeping me really busy and <laughs> really depressed because I'm not getting it along as fast as I wanted to, uh, but it's happening. And I'm not too far away from wrapping it. So this this documentary, Earl, is is about uh, what I call uh, the journey and the quest for bare body freedom. It's you know it's taken me from a place of uh, you know of uh, I can't, for instance, I live in a very nice place. Uh, in Las Vegas, I can't go out into the backyard 
you know, naked. I can't get into the into the in, into the into the jacuzzi uh, naked. I can't uh, walk through uh, you know, the receiving room naked with the windows open without you know possibly being seen by the general public. You can't do things that you ought to be able to do if you choose without clothing. That's my that's my thought process. Now, now keep in mind, I haven't besides my backyard, I haven't gone outside yet. <laughs> I haven't gone into public yet. So, but I would be in public view possibly if I walked into my backyard, or if I opened my front door, or went out to check the mailbox, or opened the garage door, you know, and and uh, or walked out to the car. You'd be in the public view, and you know, if you're you know, if you're out without clothing, you're subject to uh, to legal issues, right? And so that's my that's my problem with that. So this documentary takes me from that place of reality to uh, a demonstration where I try to show the you know the anyone that sees the the demonstration that the fact that this guy's out there without any clothes on. Uh, uh, says that uh, he's with a purpose. My purpose is obvious because in this demonstration, I you know there was an artist, a professional artist, at an easel painting. You know, while I'm there doing a, doing a, a, a life uh, portrait, a, a, a figure painting. Uh, at that same time, uh, in Washington D.C., I did a speech and I did a song recital. Uh, we did it again. Uh, a couple months later, two or three months later, in New York City, and uh, there were two artists that came out, professional artists that came out and did uh, separate figure paintings. Uh, I think I recited the song there. But those were demonstrations that say that uh, nudity uh, is a simple thing. It's no big deal. Uh those don't suggest that anyone should go, you know, to the Capitol building and walk around naked. They don't suggest that anyone should go out to the Guggenheim and, and, and get naked and walk around or stand and pose. Those demonstrations don't suggest that anyone goes and does that. They're just suggesting that and they're demonstrating that that nudity uh, is harmless. It's, it's completely harmless. In those instances, it was educational. Uh, people, people looked uh, – you know, many of them learned. Uh, many of them thought it was a great thing, and then I'm sure others, you know, were not were not so keen on it. But so those those are two things I've done to try to uh, uh, demonstrate, if you will, that that nakedness is a you know, <laughs> it's harmless. There's no there's nothing wrong with it, and and people shouldn't be too upset when they see naked people. Well, uh, I always for, like. To, thanks for sharing that. Um, I, I was going to ask you about those demonstrations that you've been doing in some very uh, visible, public, well, highly populated uh, places. So thank yeah. you for sharing that. Let's listen to a, one more song from Tondu. <laughs> I guess I'd better take good care of it I'll be going here and there with it I won't be needing much to wear on it All spring and summer long Maybe I'll tidy up the hair on it For the time that I'll be bearing it Getting some oceanic air on it until the seasons are gone It is my body It identifies me In this life I'll be Bearing my soul I don't exactly see the shame of it I don't expect to get to fame with it I don't intend to hide I came with it And so I don't think it's wrong I would expect to You're listening to It from Tondu Who is our guest today on the Clothes Free Living Update I'll never quite be done with
It's been a fantastic conversation. If you are tuning in now or tune in later, uh, please do uh, visit his website, Rever- Reverb Nation, Reverberation Nation, um, front slash Tondu, and uh, there will be links to it in our show links on our website, closefreelife.com. So, Tom, do you have been very busy, as you said, on uh, wrapping up this uh, documentary? Uh, what are some things maybe that our listeners, whether they're listening live or listen on demand later, what can they do to support the bare body freedom efforts that you're putting together? I, you know, I think I would invite anyone uh you know, that has any concerns or any questions to contact me and, and let me know what they are. Uh, I, I would like everyone to give it just, I don't know, four or five minutes, just hear something or, or see something, you know, I've done. And if they, if they, you know, if they subscribe to it, I would ask them to share it. Uh, and, you know, I, I, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it's something ultimately we all need to do. I'm sitting here, right, I'm in Hollywood, Florida right now, and I'm a few miles north of Holliver Beach. I'm at a friend's place, and, I, you know, if I could, Earl, I'd walk out to the beach right now, you know, the way I'm, you know, it, you know the way I'm dressed here, and I'm, I'm not dressed, <laughs> and but I can't do that. Uh, I've done it. I had to do it on, on the cover of, of night, you know, uh, very late at night, uh, you know, away from the population. But you can, I mean, they're, they're sanctioned areas, and that's great. I think that's wonderful. But, you know, bare body freedom, the quest, you know, the, the way I'm going about it just says, hey, this is not a big deal. And, you know, the appeal would be to the, the nation's lawmakers to, you know, be a little laxed about it. You know, maybe maybe rewrite the laws or maybe just, uh, you know, maybe make addendums to the law or something. that. But then this, of course, is, is on local levels. This is something that people at local levels would have to do. And I would ask the followers if they're, you know, if they're people following what I do, if they see me doing something and I reach out to them, uh, at least ask me questions, support me when they can, if they can. And I think we could make some things happen. That's excellent. I I think, I really think you are, you're, you're continuing. You've been a pioneer uh, in uh, taking your, uh, cause the the bare body freedom cause through music out to the the general public and population, and you're continuing to do that pioneering effort in uh, these new projects that you're working on, and and just the way you approach it. I really appreciate that, and that's why I was so excited and so much wanted to have you on the show today. Our guest today has been Tone Du. Songwriter, singer, bare body freedom activist, and just an ordinary guy who wants to have that uh, opportunity, the ability to spend the whole day nude. To quote his <laughs> his song, that is is my favorite. And and I want to thank you, Tondu, for being on with us today. I appreciate it so much. And I hope we can have you back on again sometime to uh, give us an update on what's happening with the documentary and what's going on with the Bare Body Freedom Reality TV. Again, our guest has been uh, Tondu, and we want to thank you so much for being on. Thank you for having me on, Earl. Thank you very much. So just want to wrap up our broadcast today by uh, letting you know about a couple of things coming down the pike at uh, closefreelife.com. We are adding some new uh, broadcasts that are going to be coming online hopefully later this spring. Uh, For instance, we're going to be adding the uh, Sunday Shorts, which are going to be uh, just short stories, features, essays, spoken word, that kind of thing about close free living. And our time is running out. So I want to just say uh, thank you for being with us today on the Close Free Living Update. Stay safe and Welcome stay free, friends. Update. 